Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to my channel. In today's pick a card video, the jungle beauty goddesses are going to answer the question, what do your descendants need to succeed based on your behavior today? What are you doing that could possibly hurt your future generation or help your future generation? The jungle beauty goddesses are going to give you a message to help your family lineage. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darlings. I would like for you to participate in a brief meditation by taking in a deep breath to the count of nine, holding it to the count of nine, and releasing it to the count of nine. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help someone find their way. The timestamps for each butterfly color are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the pink butterfly, this reading is for you. The Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to answer the question, what do you need to do so that your descendants can succeed in the future? I'm so excited. So I'm going to go over the cards with you and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about what you need to do right now so that your future generation and your family can have a chance. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara who represents our root chakra. She says, true wealth is an act well done. So basically, oh my goodness, this card is saying that in order for your future generation to be successful, you need to stop, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a better word than half living half ass or not really doing your best or not really putting forth your best effort. Um, whenever, it's like sometimes people equate, you know, there's money, there's prosperity, there is wealth, you know, and this card is saying true wealth is an act well done this means that if you are not living your life to your full potential you are not preparing the baton for the next generation so you're already putting them behind in terms of the race of self mastery the race of being all that they can be so if you're not reaching your full potential, if you're not doing your best, if you are holding back on your goals, on your dreams, you are hurting your future generation, your descendants and your family lineage. The next message I have for you from your descendants future in the future, what they need now from you is we have a car from Jungle Beauty Goddess. Oh my goodness, Katara and Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib, and it says, plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul. So what they're saying right now that in order for them to be able to be successful in the future, they need you to plant the seeds that will actually blossom during their lifetime. So you know how, if you look at like Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson's dad tried to be a musician, but he was not very successful at it. But what he did was he set up a foundation so that um, he was able to teach his children. So if you look at a lot of people, their parents did everything they could 
to be successful in a certain area but it it really it was not meant for them it was meant for their descendants so if you're not going for your dreams if you're not planting the seeds for the next Beyonce like even Beyonce's dad was in a band but there are a lot of stories about people who tried to do things and it didn't turn out well for them but it really turned out extremely well for um, their children I think even Picasso's dad taught painting or he was he taught art and he realized that Picasso was much more talented than he would ever be so what I'm saying is but it would if if you don't do everything you're supposed to do your descendants are not going to be successful in the future so you need to plant those seeds now the next oh my god the cards are just like speaking tonight the next message message i have from your descendants of what they need to be successful from you we have jenna beauty goddess sign who represents our second chakra and i believe to be happy and find joy in life they're asking you to take risks so basically if you have an idea please go for it if you do not hold back on your book idea your video ideas don't hold back they need you to take risks because take risks plant those seeds right because if you don't plant those seeds and do your absolute best they don't have a chance and then i have one more card for you for your future from for you to be able to help your future descendants and this card is from jungle from the matter who is actually the dad of the jungle beauty goddesses and he represents divine masculine he's the creator he says uh uh your life is a reflection of your daily actions listen Woo. for your descendants to succeed in the future they need you to take risk look at your daily behavior and see if your behavior is adding up to what it is you want to accomplish they need you to plant seeds they need you to take risks so let's just say i'm just gonna just use youtube because we're all watch. you're listening to me on youtube i'm on youtube let's go for youtube so let's just say that you wanted to start a youtube channel but every day you had an excuse right and you never uploaded a video and sometimes I think we're like overly critical or whatever and you probably look at yourself and you say well I can't you know you compare I know how that is you look at people who are very successful and you think Jesus Christ this is a very crowded platform they don't need another person like me so what end up what ends up happening is that you never plant the seeds of your dream you never take risk and you're and you never um, go for it right so your future generation your descendants cannot listen if you think about every person who has a, most people not every person who has achieved something great even like President Trump his dad set the foundation for who he is today do you understand what I'm saying like so if you aren't living your best life if you aren't planting seeds if you aren't taking risk if you are not doing your absolute best because it says you know the cards you have from jungle beauty goddess katara it says true wealth is an act well done this just means that you let's just say you give it your all but you're never a millionaire you're never but that is wealth because when you give something your absolute best what you're really doing is planting seeds right if you write the book and nobody buy it that's not your fault but you wrote the book you're planting seeds that bear the fruit of your soul your descendants will be the fruit of your soul and they're saying that you know, they need you to take risks they need you to go for it they need you not to have excuses and your life is a reflection of your daily actions your dead is not what you're going to do 10 years from now or five years from now but your descendants are not going to succeed in the future if you do not prepare the groundwork in order for them to have a running start in life i really hope this message helps someone thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video
Hello darling. If you selected the pink tiger lily butterfly, this reading is for you. I am going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition of the message of what your descendants in the future need to succeed based on your behavior today. So the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib's message to you is, you are a timeless and limitless being, proceed, proceed in this manner. So you are timeless and limitless, darling, which means that it's not too late. It's not too late. I don't care if you're 85 watching this video, which you're probably not, but if you are, it is, you are a timeless and limitless being. There is nothing you cannot do and nothing you cannot accomplish, and it's never too late to go for gold. So your descendants need you to understand this. They need you to never give up on life in order for them to have a chance at reaching their full potential. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message for you is, Aw, oh, be your own hero. I think this is one of my favorite cards. Listen, what this is saying so far, you know how sometimes people are always saying what somebody else should do. Like somebody should need to write and tell them, you know, that, well, let me just give you, um, just a, this is a little stale example, but you know how people always complain about how, you know, something is wrong in the world and they want somebody else to do something about it. But what if you took a petition and say, look, I want this moved out of my neighborhood or we feel like this person needs to clean their yard or we want them out. You know what I'm saying? What if you were the person that made the changes that you're always complaining about you know what I mean and I feel like um, this this reminds me of Harriet Tubman who is like my hero so she said be your own hero like you know you can't look for other people to come and save you what if you are the leader of the Underground Railroad not the literal Underground Railroad but in order for your future descendants to be successful they need you to first stop thinking it's too late too late to write that book start that channel paint that picture, draw, design, make furniture, go back to school, whatever it is, they're saying, look, the baton, I'm going to be behind. You're, you're going to set the foundation for me. And if you don't do everything that you're supposed to do, I'm not going to be able to make it. They need you to be your own hero and not look for people to save you or make your life better. The next message I have for you for your future descendants is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara, who represents our throat chakra, our ability to speak here, the truth, um, discernment, logical thinking. Oh my goodness, she says, think about it. So, I need you to think about what is going on in your life right now that you need to change to be your own hero and not think that it's too late. It's not too late for you to go back to school. You're not too old to start a YouTube channel. You're not too old to, you know, get a tattoo. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it's not a major thing. Sometimes when you do something small, you are sending out a vibration of courage and self-worth and self-esteem. You know what I mean? Maybe if you, I think another thing too is Sometimes, and I know I'm not picking it up in particular with this hand, but when we're talking about our descendants, you know, a lot of people have um, plastic surgery, right? And I, I probably talked about this in a previous video, but I want, Barbara Streisand, who had like a long nose, they tried to encourage her to have surgery on her nose. And she said that if, my, if it's good enough for God, it's good enough for me. I think sometimes... Um, we're always, you know, we're using words like, you know, fat shaming and, you know, all kind of things that, because we're always thinking that, oh, somebody else is putting me down. But I guess what I'm trying to say is, 
if you're going to be your own hero, that means you're going to stand up for yourself. And sometimes the answer is not for us to go and get a boob job. It's not for us to go and try to look like somebody else or be like somebody else. What if it's for us, you know, and this is a funny thing about jeans, is that usually, let's say you don't like your nose. I'm not saying you don't like your nose. And you go and you get a nose job because you just couldn't find the courage to like your nose, like Barbara Streisand. But your DNA in the future, your descendants, they're going to have that nose. They're going to have that DNA. You don't cut away the DNA. Or like Michael Jackson, how he hated his skin color, but it didn't stop his children from having his skin color. Do you understand? Well, my bad. You know what I'm saying. Like if he had, you, you y'all know what I'm saying. The point I'm making is, is that if you hate something about yourself and you alter it, your descendants are still going to have those traits. And therefore, they're going to have, and they're also not going to like themselves because you did not create a safe place for them in the world. So let's just say, you come from a family where everybody, you know, a good example would be like little people and you are ashamed of being a little person. But then, you know, your kids are going to come into a world where they're going to be teased and they're going to be put down. And because, but what if you said, look, you cannot call us the M word. What if you were the hero who changed everything so that anybody who comes after you your descendants who come after you you create a place in the world for them so they can live the life of their dreams does that make sense what i'm saying so this is what i mean about being your own hero it's an opportunity for you to whatever is going on you need to create a safe place for your descendants you need to be the one who bring about the change whatever is going on in your family right now your descendants need you to step up to the plate and the last card i have for you from your um descendants a message and this is from jungle beauty goddess to me her message says she represents the crown chakra our connection to our higher self and her message to you is are you listening to your soul or trying to please others man they need you to think about it right they need you to connect to your truth because this jungle beauty goddess sahara represents our ability to connect to our truth to hear the truth know the truth for us to think logically to think rationally and for us to make good decisions so your descendants need you to really think about your life and they need you most importantly it says, are you listening to your soul or trying to please others? You know what? This is a really interesting hand. <sighs> Listen, your descendants in the future really need you to be a hero. They need you to be a Harriet Tubman. They need you to be a, you know, John Brown. They need you to be a Martin Luther King. They need you to be a Napoleon child. They need you to do your thing because if you don't do your thing in this lifetime, you're going to make it really, really hard for your descendants in the future. And they're asking you to really think about it. They want, they need you to have courage because uh, Jungle Beauty Goddess Chabi represents our third chakra, our ability to, to master ourselves, our self-esteem, our self-worth. And they want you to um, understand that you are a timeless and limitless being. Please don't be fearful. Please don't be afraid. And they're asking you to pave the way for them to be able to live the life of their dreams. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the lavender butterfly, there we go, this reading is for you. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about what you need for your descendants to succeed in the future. So the first card I have for you 
is from Jungle Beauty. I mean, I'm sorry. From uh, let's see, Jungle Beauty. The Jungle Beauty Goddess's father, the Matter, who is represents the mind ma masculine, who's the creator of the universe. At least in my story, Joe. And his message to you is: you can do anything. All right, so I already know. It seems like the messages are also like, look, you need to do things. You can do anything. You got to believe in yourself. You want me to believe in myself. So the message for you, in order for your descendants, for your descendants to succeed, is that you need to right now understand that you can do anything. So whatever is on your heart right now, whatever dreams, whatever goals you have, just know that in order for your descendants to be successful in the future they need you to know that everything is possible and to possibly go for those not possibly and for you to go for those dreams the next card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess chobby and jungle beauty goddess chobby's message to you is protect yourself so what i'm picking up from this particular card is that Your future descendants are saying, look, if you don't protect yourself, I won't come into existence. So that can mean that you are either hanging around the wrong people, that you are not being responsible, you know, in some way. But protect yourself just means what are you eating healthy? Are you getting enough sleep? Are you protecting yourself in intimate situations? Are you... Um, you know putting yourself in like bullying type situations because you know one of the things I've picked up especially from this generation is that a lot of young people are um, because I don't know like for some reason they're involved in social media but they are becoming the illusion of themselves as opposed to like with their, the image they're projecting into this um, you know into this I don't know the word I want to use for the environment, but it's not a tangible 3D environment. And um, I find that a lot of people say they're being bullied. I had a lot of people say that they were thinking about, you know, um, hurting themselves because they would look at these Instagram models and they felt insecure. They felt like they didn't measure up or they felt that everybody else's life was happy except theirs. And so they didn't protect. So they they didn't protect their psyche you know what I'm saying so I think that when you were talking about protecting ourselves in today's time we're not talking about it like our ancestors had to protect themselves from the element from the elements you know they probably you know couldn't we have storm shelters now we have you know ways to protect ourselves from lightning I mean we still have to worry about mother nature but you know what I'm saying is there were a lot more dangers out there for our ancestors. Now, in, to, in terms of today's society, we have to protect ourselves in a different way. And I think it's more in a psychological, spiritual, and emotional way. So if you are overexposing yourself to social media or to images that do not make you feel good about yourself, then you are going to have a negative impact on your descendants like they aren't going to possibly even exist or come into existence or because they need you to protect yourself now so if that means turning off tv eating healthy um you know not using certain things protecting but the there's a message from your descendants like look if you don't protect yourself i am not going to exist and if i do exist I'm not going to have a very happy life because I need you to practice safety. I need you to protect yourself in order to protect me. The next card that I have for you is from a jungle beauty goddess, Kalahari. And her message is, let's see. She says, love without expectations. This card is saying that whatever you are doing right now you may not immediately oh my goodness you may not immediately see the outcome of you being a good person 
but they're saying that if you are a good person, they will be the beneficiaries to your unconditional love. So when we say love without expectations, you know how sometimes we live in a world where people feel like, well, if you do this for me, I'll do that for you. Because we want to see the direct karmic relationship, but we want, you know, I'm not going to do this for you because you didn't do this for me. But let's just say that if you just let, look, I'm just going to be a good person. I'm just going to, you know, put some money in somebody's parking meter. I'm just going to try to brighten somebody's day. They're saying that if, when you love without, without expectations, you create a very loving karmic environment for them to succeed. Oh, that's so sweet. And the last card I have for you from your descendants, what they need from you right now, we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara, who represents our throat chakra, our mind, and our ability to think clearly. Um, her day is Wednesday. Her element is air. She says, clarity is magic. Wow. So what she is saying is that in order for you to well one thing let me just get these two cards together because they seem to like go together for me they need you to really think about what it is that you really want and they need you to to go after your goals and dreams with clarity because when you establish yourself you are planting a seed for them to succeed as well so what they're asking you to do right now is to become very clear about what it is you want and this is the thing I've, I've learned is that if you don't know what you want you don't know when you have it or you don't know it when you see it so you have to be very you know like if I remember when I would say like I need to I want a job where I'm doing A, B, C, D, and E so when I would have the opportunity to have that job because I was very clear about what I wanted I knew that it was the right place to be you know what I'm saying so clarity is magic because when you clarify what it is that you want it makes it easier for you to obtain it and when you create this magic in your life let's just say where you know let's say you want to you know be a basketball coach wash you you know what that looks like you know how much money you want to make you know you know um, where you're going to apply for your jobs but that type of magic is going to create an environment of success for your descendants they can't survive and you know and another thing just popped in my head is that a lot of times um, children are the beneficiaries of their parents decisions so if your parents you know um, lived a life where they weren't happy or they weren't productive or they were not you know using you know maybe using drugs or whatever then that you know they could make it difficult for their descendants to succeed because they're coming in you know behind so what they're saying that their your descendants are saying look in order for me to live a life of prosperity I really need you to clarify what it is right now that you really want and know that you can do anything they need you to do your absolute best they want you to love without expectations which means that if you have to go and sing because you really want to sing and you know at a, at a local bar and it doesn't really pay a lot but it's the only gig you can get in town they want you to do that because you are helping them. You're helping the DNA, the ride doesn't just stop with you. It continues on. So what you're doing right now is going to impact how difficult or easy life will be for them. And then their last message for you that I um, went over earlier is that they really need you to protect yourself. And I guess what I'm seeing is protect yourself can be so many different ways and in this particular time in society protecting ourselves can really just mean protecting our psyche our spiritual um 
our emotions what I mean is expo- the music we listen to what we watch on TV the social media that we that we expose ourselves to all of these things can erode your self esteem and your self worth and um, make it very difficult for your descendants I really hope this message helps someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video Hello darling, if you selected the purple butterfly with orange flowers, this reading is for you. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition of what your descendants, descendants need to succeed in the future based on your behaviors today. The first card I have for you is from... Jungle Beauty Goddess Chavi, who represents our third chakra, our self esteem, self worth. Her date is Tuesday. Oh my goodness. She says, boldly fight for what you believe in. You know what? Your descendants are saying, look, if you don't get, if you sit in the back of the bus, then I'm going to be sitting in the back of the bus, right? If you still a slave, then I'm going to be a slave. If you've been mistreated, I'm going to be mistreated. You know what I'm saying? So whatever issues are going on in your community, in your life, in your family, um, politically other or otherwise, they're asking you to boldly fight for what you believe in because if you don't fight, you are going to allow conditions to remain as they are and they're going to have a very difficult time succeeding. The next message I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar's message to you is use your imagination. So basically your descendants are saying to you, um, they really want you to, you know, maybe you're not gonna, hey, Fifty Shades of Grey, there's Harry Potter, there's a whole bunch of good books out there, a lot of good movies out there. They're saying that they are not going to be able to live a life where they feel free to explore who they are if you stifle your imagination in this lifetime. So what popped in my mind was Gloria Vanderbilt and Anderson, and Anderson Cooper. It's like if, you, if, if Gloria Vanderbilt had not built the fashion industry that she created, then her son wouldn't have wouldn't be in his job. I mean, you understand? See the domino effect. So when you live the life of your dreams, when you use your imagination to be all you can be, you give your child the freedom or your descendants the freedom to live the life of their dreams. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib, who represents our crown chakra, and her message to you is. Is it for your highest good and the highest good for all? Now, this card simply means that, let's just say right now you're involved in something that, you know, it benefits you, but will it benefit your descendants? Like maybe, you know, sometimes people are use, you know, Ill illegal drugs or they have, um, they participate in activities that's very unhealthy. So what are you doing right now? that is selfish that is that could possibly affect your future your descendants like maybe you know you're not eating healthy so maybe your descendants may end up with cancer or diabetes you know what i'm saying so is it for your highest good and the highest good for all they're asking you to please look at your life and change any behaviors that will come up in their gene pool right and prevent them from being as healthy and productive as they could be. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara and her message to you and she represents the root chakra and she says 
money will rush towards you when you find your true self your descendants are saying look i don't you're going to plant the seeds to take our family to the next level so you know like the guy who started kentucky fried chicken um, if you think about the bushes if you think about the kennedys if you think about any family where there's a, a tremendous amount of success somebody had to be true to themselves to set it up for the next generation so your descendants are begging you to please use your imagination to find your true self, right? So that you can plant seeds of success and prosperity, whether it's, you know, making clothes or making videos or painting pictures or writing poetry. Um, but they need you to use your imagination and be true to yourself. And then they want you to also think about whatever behaviors or activities that you're involved in, is it for your highest good and the highest good for all or are you just being selfish? You know what I mean? Like, are you like just eating, you know, Twinkies every day and not thinking about how this can affect your descendants or maybe how you've been thinking about going back to school, but you don't want to go back to school, you know, because you feel like, oh, maybe it's too late. But if you were to go to school, you're going to make it easier for your descendants to go to school because you're going to pass this down um, in terms of. Um, being able to well you know like not um, you can't pass school down genetically but in a way you can you know like when you go and you learn lessons and you learn how to study then you'll be able to pass on those good behaviors to your descendants I really hope that this message helps someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video